It's a typical rocky ending. Oh, Sylvester Stallone, ladies and gents. Muy contento. Soy muy orgulloso y muy contento por todo el equipo, la verdad. I think Leo gave a very passionate speech about what he really believes in, and he has been working hard many years about it. And I think he's very conscious, very knowledgeable, and I think he's sharing his knowledge with the people about something as serious as anything that we can have now, you know, in our shoulders. Absolutely. And, you know, you want back to back. Congratulations. What a moment for the Mexican film community. How do you plan to lend the success of the film and your success to maybe Mexico? Well, I, this, is, this is for all my people in Mexico, you know, all the Mexicans around the world. I, I, I'm sharing this with them. Thank you, Alejandro. We're going to do it on the red carpet after the Oscars. We thank you so much for joining us from the reporters, from myself, from the crew. We can't say thank you enough. I'm very, very happy. I think it's uh, tons of emotion just running through me at the moment, but this is just pretty insane and wonderful and extraordinary. And <laughs> And Alicia, this win is not only incredible for you, but also for your home country, Sweden. Can you look into the camera and say something in Swedish right now of all your emotions? I can. Det finns så mycket. Det finns så många av er. Jag skulle vilja tacka där hemma. Jag hoppas jag kommer hem snart och får se er. And here we are with our last Oscar winner of this show. It's Alicia Vikander from the Danish Girl. Det är sentimentalt ett fontos ett fontos pilanat arro hogy hogy ösztefogott ett csapat és magyarok és külföldiek is csináltak egy filmet ami ami ilyen sok messzire vitte és azt remélem hogy hogy emiatt a többet fogunk beszélni Magyarországon a a a társadalmi a történelmi problémákról vagy a vagy a az elmúlt évtizedek történelméről, és, és egy kicsit tisztában fogunk látni. Tehát szerintem ez egy fontos, fontos pillanat Magyarországnak, azt remélem legalábbis. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'm waiting for you. Who are you, by the way? She's my manager. Hi, hello, very nice to meet you. Where are you? You obviously presented tonight. How does it feel to be on stage at the Academy Awards? It was great. I just didn't want to botch up any of my lines, which I'm glad I didn't because I had like six. But it went really well. It was amazing. It was it was a great view. I saw some amazing people, and I'm really glad um, and happy about the the people who won today. Absolutely. And speaking of winners, it seems like most of the people are pretty excited for Leo. What do you think about that? Oh, I'm really happy. I mean, it was so long overdue, and his speech was epic and. Um, I thought it was really, really inspiring and really amazing. I'm so happy for him. I'm glad. And I'm really happy for Spotlight because it was my favorite movie of the year. Yay. Yeah, and talk to us about how surprising of a moment that was for Spotlight to come out on top and win Best Picture. A lot of people were shocked. I know. When we were backstage, everyone was talking about who's going to win. And I really love Spotlight. And uh, because I presented with Liev, we were having this whole conversation. I'm just so happy it won because as a movie, it had every single thing in it that you know, an entertaining film deserves to have. So I'm really happy it won. It was, it was, for me, it wasn't a surprise. I love that. And of course, you are officially off duty tonight. So in addition to coming to the Governor's Ball, what else are you gonna do to celebrate? Not really off duty. I'm going to Vanity Fair, and then I have a red eye tonight to go to Miami because I start shooting Baywatch tomorrow morning. Ooh, highly anticipated reboot. Tell us yes. more about that. Well, it'll be great. I'm the, I'm the antagonist in the film. So um, evil is so good on me. Ready to rock a bikini? Um, yeah, for that you'll have to watch and see if I do wear a bikini or not. Ooh! <laughs> Can't wait to hopefully see you running slow motion. Yeah, I'm gonna be the interruption in their slow motion running. You were taking it home to Australia before you even got off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's a very big crew that I'm representing here, and I'm very proud of them all. You know, um, it's a lot of it has to do with George Miller, and I know this sounds like sort of a tired old Hollywood trope. But it starts with the director. He assembled an amazing collection of the best people in the world. And at a time when people accuse Hollywood of being ageist, he put together a crew of experienced, for lack of a better word, experts in their fields. And, you know, good on him for that.
shock. This year we have so many incredible films, um, and we were hoping it would be us so we'd have the opportunity to talk about this important issue. Um, but of course, I mean, what an amazing, an amazing, 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 wonderful evening. So thank you. Absolutely. I mean, the same feeling. We had no idea that we had incredible, incredible films this year, and um, this is just so gratifying for the journalists, the reporters, the survivors, everybody involved in our in our story. It's um, it's remarkable. Thank <laughs> you.